I've arrived at my gig with my brand new mic mechanic. What do I do now? Well, there's one of two things that's gonna happen. You either have a sound person or you don't. In this case, I'm gonna treat it like there is no sound person and I'm gonna do everything myself. So the first thing I do is give that mic a check. Obviously it's still on, so I'm gonna head over to the mixing board and turn it off. All right, I'm back from the mixer where I turned off the mic. Just gonna give it a quick tap to make sure it's actually off. Now for the fun part, we're gonna hook up mic mechanic. So I take the cable from the back of the mic straight into the out of mic mechanic. That goes out to the board. Then we're gonna run a cable from the mic down to the floor to mic mechanic where we're gonna go into the mic in. Now I typically bring a cable from home, something that will make it all the way. Not something like this, but you actually wanna bring a real cable. It's gonna go into your mic that you've quite obviously replaced with a TC Helicon MP75, of course. It's gonna go into the mic, and then we're gonna go into the mic in on Mic Mechanic. So, plug in there, give a little spin, and we're in. Now I need some power. Let me go get it. And I'm back. Plug in the power here. So you got your three cables connected. Give it a couple of seconds to fire up the nuclear reactor in there, or nuclear. There we go. Got a couple of LEDs that'll show you that it's on. Now we wanna set the level. There's a mic gain knob on the side. You're gonna to wanna to turn that up and down as you sing at full volume into your mic. You don't wanna just whisper into it. You wanna sing like you really are going to during the show. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna adjust the level here and look for the green LED here. Hey, see how I got some red there? Definitely wanna turn it down. Hey, hey, there we go. That looks good, we got green. Now I'm gonna head back over to the mixing board because this is pre-amplifying my signal. I don't need the preamp at the board. I'm gonna to have to double check the levels there to make sure everything is working out. So I'm gonna go do that, and when I come back, we'll talk about effects. Alrighty, I'm back from the mixing board where I set up my levels. Now, I'm gonna mess around with the effects, which is the fun part. We're gonna take this leftmost knob and we're gonna select our effect. In this case, I'm gonna select hall plus echo, which is a hall reverb plus an echo. Let's hear how it sounds. Let's hear how it sounds. All right, so now we've got a hall, now we've got a hall which is probably a, you know, sort of a venue that would hold a couple of thousand people. And then we've got an echo that taps off of that. I really like that particular setting. Now I'm gonna select dry wet. Drier means less effect. Wet means more effect, more effect. I usually like to set it around 12 o'clock or a little bit more. And that sounds pretty good to me. That sounds pretty good to me. Lastly, in the top row here, we've got the autochromatic pitch correction. What that does is it finds the note that you're nearest to and kind of tugs you there. If you go for a low setting, it's a very gentle tug. If you go higher, it's a lot more intense. So if you're not hitting those notes very well at all, feel free to crank it up. If you're amazing, turn it right down or you can even turn it off. Next down here, we've got the tone button. That's where you've got your adaptive EQ, compression and gating. Essentially, I just leave that on all the time. It's the sound man in a box that really helps my mic to sound great. Down at the bottom here, we've got your foot switch. Turns on and off the LED here, which also turns on and off the effects, which means you can talk to the audience without having the effect on your voice. So as you're ordering a beer between uh, sets there, you can make sure you don't sound like you're in a cavern because it really does sound a little really stupid when you say, thank you very much, everybody. Very much, everybody. So uh, our next song tonight is gonna be uh, a confusing mess of delays and echoes. So we get that turned off. There's really only a couple of advanced features left. They both pertain to the delay. So I've got my effects turned on, and now I say, I want those delays to tap out in time with my song. Makes it sound really pro. So I push and hold the foot switch till that light starts blinking, and then I start tapping it in time with my song. We'll do some experimenting here. So here I go. So here I go. Tapping in time with my song. Now maybe I'm gonna play a slower song. I'm gonna slow it way slow down. It way down. Way down. Way down. There we go. And now way back up again. So now we're going to go fast. Here we go. Here we go. So you can see how you can actually adjust that to fit in with your song, which is a great way to do things. Last but not least, we've got feedback for the delay, which means the number of taps before the delay disappears. This one's a little bit of a rub your tummy, pat your head thing, but you can totally do it. Press and hold the tone button and then adjust the dry wet control in the middle there. So if I turn it up, I get a lot of taps that keep going on, and if I turn it down, I get a lot fewer. Let's go for low first. Check, check, check. check, 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 check. Only a few of them, and then we go way up. Way up. 
Hello. 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 And it just keeps Hello. going and going and going and going and going and going. So normally I'm going to set that somewhere around halfway. Check. 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 check, check, check. Cool. And that makes for a pretty cool sound. That's really all there is to Mic Mechanic. It's such a simple product to set up that you can take it anywhere, do a couple little tweaks when you show up at the venue, and you can get rocking. Oh, one more thing, just in case you wanted to know. Scissors cut paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock crushes scissors, scissors decapitate lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes rock, rock crushes scissors, thank you, I'm out.